Yeah, I lost like the first 10, 15, 20 minutes of this game. I don't, I don't know this whole time. I also don't know how to record it. Let's play. But I'm trying again because hopefully it actually is recording this time. Not just the. I know how to work my camera. My camera's good. Gameplay is a problem. Um, I've just been introduced to all the girls and I'm telling them why I joined this club, making a bullshit excuse. And yeah, that's it. I know there's like popular girl, our childhood friend, the Susundri, Susundri, I don't know how to pronounce it, but you know the like bitch one who's like, I don't like you, but I do like you, but I'm just be really mean to you, that one. Um, the bookworm, and I think that's all. Let's try again. I love this it actually works. No. This is the popular one. Monica. Ah, uh, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the like this the politics the politics around the against all the politics. I also can't read. I can't record. I can't read and what else can I do? <laughs> and I feel like nothing we're arguing about the budget and publicity on how to prepare for events. I'm sure that take something personally I enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages people to the literature, then I fulfilled that dream. Monica is a really great leader. Yuri also knows an agreement. And then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start in the club. You put it that way. Not many people are interested in putting in all the effort into starting something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to request Chris for the year. Oh, fun and worthwhile. Oh shit, what happened? I didn't even skip one of them. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Let's go to a festival and bring books. What kind of shit? I was, I was allowed in a book club. I feel like I was, but not really. I don't know. I just used to go to the library during homeroom and read books, which is cool with me. Because I didn't want to be in the homeroom. We weren't doing anything. We are talking about life. <laughs> Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Yeah, I just heard them all do that. Such so gave her else. All interested in the same goal. Monica must really hard to find these three. She kidnapped them. Um, and then brainwashed them into the books. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted about the new idea of a member joining. I may also be dyslexic. Who I, no, I still don't know if I can keep up with that level of enthusiasm about literature. I couldn't, and the fact that this story turns out to be about an actual book club, I'm out. So, you know, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read in the past few years, I don't know <laughs> a really good way of answering that. It's better than saying, what do you like to read? Urban Fantasy. What's the book you read? It was about this middle schooler, and she saw a ghost, and she was a medium. I think it was called Scary Mary. It's the last thing I read. I think as long as you're not on the same page as me, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. And before that, it was True Blood, so. I think we're, I think, well, the Southern Vampire Adventure. Also, once it got popular, renamed the Secret of the House novels. But now then they just start throwing whatever. Manga? I'm ready to apply to myself, have a joke again. Uh, Nick, Natsuki has suddenly perks up. Well, she wants to say this, but she keeps talking. Yeah, she's an anime too. She looks. Out of the book. Like, who does her hair like that and doesn't like anime? Like, what is this hanging holding bag? It doesn't look that much like you just clipped it on your thing and it's just hanging. Not much of a reader, I guess. Uh, well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri takes the remember to see a couple of their fingers there. My favorite are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Yeah, like, get up with. Uh, what the fuck did I tell What the fuck did I read? Yes, get into Southern Vampire Mysteries. Those are good. However, stop reading at the book 8, because then it gets weird. This is what I did. I just, I, I got to like, All in the Family? 
are all dead, dead in the family? One of them. And now I'm heated. Because I, I got spoiled on the last book and I don't want to read it anymore. Oh, the creativity of Christopher Han. Them is amazing to me. I'm telling a good story in such a foreign world is a glit impressive. That's a beat. Here he goes on. Clearly passionate about everything. She seems so reserved and timid since the mm, walked in. But obviously, by the way her eyes light up as she finds comfort in a lot of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements you live in rest me as well. Maybe you should watch. Psychopaths, this shit's good. Um, it's an amazing how writers can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop. The last book I read that I did not expect the ending was. I think it's probably stuff with ghosts. Because you really never know, our ghosts are like monsters and stuff. Because you really never know, like, what the author's interpretation of that monster or that creature is. Instead of humans, humans pretty much behave the same type of way. Like, if humans just do some random shit without any proper motivation in the story, it doesn't make sense. And then also it'll get boring if you can like guess where the story's going. Like just surprise me. Like just kill me. That's also why I used to like, why I kind of like Supernatural. I'm like a season and a half behind. I'm mad. I hate Mary. They won't get rid of her. She's there. They keep killing all my faves. I need a break. But also, you never know. You can get comfortable. You start liking a character and they're dead. Anyone who's comfortable, anyone who becomes friends with the Winchester's dead. Oh, you have a favorite character? Oh, that's nice. They're dead. Sometimes, but also, I was tolerating that because they would come back. But they're never, but you know who didn't come back? Kevin. Kevin just came back and been like, hey, what's up? Bye. He's dead. I'm not over the fact that Kevin's dead. Not that they also killed Crowley. This is not about Supernatural. This is about the literature club and these hoes. Kevin's still dead and a man. <laughs> yeah, fuck writers. Uh, anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I read a, oh, I read a horror book once. That's just trying to grasp like relates to the new. Have you ever read a f true horror book? I don't think so. And that's right, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with The Rock. I really wouldn't expect that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes you think or smile, or which one of the world, then I really can't put it in. It's real horror, though, for rage as a shit, the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, bitch, no one was talking to you. We was having a private conversation, and you just had to bring your, we, was talking, we just had to bring your little weird hairstyle into the mix. No one, you weren't invited. No, why is that? Because you're a pussy, that's why. I like question gore. I like horror, but I don't like your gory stuff. I'm weird. Well, I just see you guys out every two weeks. Second, never mind. Yeah, cause you're a pussy. That's right. You usually have to write about cute things, don't you, Nasuki? What? What gives you that idea? Oh, so we're writing. Are you writing or reading in this club? I don't even know what the fuck we're doing. This is a scrap paper behind the last club meeting. You just like putting people on blast. Uh, it looks like you were working on some poem called "Don't Say It Out Loud" and give it back. Fine, fine. Hey, your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. She so stands up to the uh, behind the city and puts her hand on the shadows. Y'all ever have friends that are girls that are like they just get like way too complimentary and way too close to you? And you just be like, space, weird, weird. I need my space. I need my own energy. You're, you're doing it the most, and I don't like it. I'm not cute. First off, yeah, you are. The all the ones who are the younger ones, the first classmen are always the adorable ones. You're a bitch though, so you're right, you're not cute. She's cute. Everyone else is cute. You're a little bitch. Let's see, can you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Yeah, please don't show me any poems. No. One. I'm just jealous because I can't write anything. I try to write and it's like, that's the reason why I draw and not write. Like, I think anybody who can put a story together and make you feel words with the, or make you feel the emotion with just some words put together is amazing, but I can't do it. So, anybody who manages to do it in a semi decent way, I just like, you did it. I'm so give her eyes. 
you wouldn't you wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Nasuki feels. I used to hate having to write in school when I'd be like, ooh, writing gives you a assignment. And I'd be like, fuck. Write something. I'm just like, I'm just gonna make up shit. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna write. I'm gonna pretend that I'm a character in a movie and just write how that character feels. I think I had to write like I was. Yeah, like one time I got to write like I was in Iraq and I was writing to my pen pal and someone else. Like I was, a, and I was writing my last. Like I was gonna die. And I was in Iraq. No, no, no. Let me tell you some fucked up. Let me hear the story. I had to write a story about how I was in Iraq and I knew I was gonna die. And I was writing my goodbye letter to my family. So, you know, I imagined that I was Ben Affleck looking for a harbor and I was writing to my bitch. And, you know, all my friends are dying. Or Private Ryan. You know, all the war movies. I was like, okay, I'm pretending I'm in a war movie. And I'm one of the characters and I'm writing home. I'm gonna just describe everything that's happening around me and this is how I fucked up. And war is crazy. <laughs> Why am I here? I was very extra. <laughs> I wrote nothing for my family, nothing about how I miss them, nothing about how I care about them, nothing. I just wrote, this is crazy, why am I here? <laughs> Everyone's dying. This is, who did this? Anyway, uh, writing sucks. Sharing the level of writing takes more than just confidence. A choice when writing is writing to yourself. In fact, when you work in a group, you have to write a story, like, ooh, top of this chapter, everybody write it. My part just goes off the rail. Like, it'll just be like, oh, it's all calm, it's all clean. But suddenly, a dinosaur comes out and just eats everyone and the story's over and like, but how did that happen? A uh, cloud came and just killed everyone. What? This is, this is not Christmas. Yeah, everyone's dead. The truth from writing the writing you want to have. willing to open your readers up, exposing your vulnerability and showing them David David from sure. You have writing experiences to you? Maybe it shows them your work. You can set an example. They have Nusuki? Still fucking up her name. Feel confident enough to share hers. No, she just stay put. This Monica bitch just stay putting people on the line. Like, just put everybody business in the streets. Don't tell her nothing. I guess the same for you. Uh, I wanted to. I wanted to read everyone's poems. We got in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Hmm. Now, so can you read the quiz, Glenn Monica? Let's all go home write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. Fuck it. This bitch give me homework. I just want to clip some more homework. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, we have a new member, but I think it'll help us all get more comfortable with each other and straighten the mind of the enemy of the club. Isn't that right, Tiffany? No, it's not. There's not a ring. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Another bitch you were trying to leave this room. I bluntly conferred at what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. So, it may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thoughts. Oh, they're all going to say puppy dog, like, except for her. She's being like, well, get the fuck out. Like, get my cupcake back. <laughs> she looks like she want a box. Uh, I lose my train of thought. Off her girl said back, and like, she, she, she's red box with a cheeky eye. Everyone looks at except for her. She wants to square up. But, I'm sorry, I thought, hmm. Tiffany, you all. I'm defenseless against the girl. How am I supposed to make clear a decision like this? That is, if writing form is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with you for real. Right. Okay, I decided then. I joined the literature club. I'm like one of the girls I like that. I'm so happy. You sir, you sir. I feel like every time I start recording, I'm gonna call it something different. So Yuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. He really did scare me for a moment. If he really just came for cupcakes, I would be super pissed. I did come for cupcakes. And I got my cupcakes. I'm out. Then it just make then that makes it official. Welcome to the Ladishi Club. Thanks, I guess. Okay everyone. I think with that, we'll officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment. 
write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. How did I get homework? Monica looks over me once more. Tiffany, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> it's probably going to be a copywritten ripoff of some anime that I watched. I hate poems. I'm going to go home and Google how to write a poem and I'm going to write a basic shit. I can really put to class. I can really put class with my mediocre writing skills. No, you can't. But she's going to pretend to be here because she wants everybody in this goddamn group. I already feel like I actually want to get inside of me. Oh, the girls can see you. Did she say at you? It's like barely 9 o'clock. I am such a baby. Jerry can up their food. Hey, Tiffany, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? No. <laughs> That's right, Tiri and I never walk home to them because she's always dead to go for gloves. Sure, might as well. Yay! At least she didn't squeal. With the two us part of the club and make our way home. The whole way in my mind I wanted to make the for between the four girls. Siri, Asuki, Siri, homegirl, Asuki, bitch, um, bookworm, popular girl, and of course Monica. I really be happy spending every day in school in a literature club? No! Perhaps I will have a chance to grow closer to someone again. That actually will happen to me. Like, I wouldn't be in an awkward situation. Like, I do not want to do this, but I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Because I'm in a motherfucking literature club. Alright. I just need to make one of. I just need to make the most of my success. And I'm sure I go for it. You won't find me. Oh!